today I'm breaking out my HK SP5. We're gonna be focusing on a lot of things during this video, but the main focus today is going to be this Olight green dot sight. I was contacted by Olight to try out the optic, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. A lot of the Amazon reviews that I noticed, the biggest complaint is that the sight does not hold zero. Now, when I checked out the description on this Olight green dot sight, they wanted to make you pretty aware that you were supposed to torque this down to 17 inch pounds. So I'm gonna be curious to see if this does hold zero. I've torqued this down properly, it's Loctited in place. So this is gonna be the ultimate test for this site. It's a mid-range price for red dot sights. It's not cheap, but it's not insanely expensive. For a $200 optic, let's see how well this works and if it's gonna hold zero. We have a battery of tests today. I'm gonna be doing a lot of grouping on paper with every single mag. I'll put five shots, the first five rounds of every mag on paper. After that, we'll be testing it out in a variety of things. We have sodas, we have steels, I have a watermelon. No ballistics gel today though, unfortunately. We're trying to focus on accuracy for the most part. So let's put this thing to the test. It's not sighted in, so let's do that first and then we'll move on to some other tests. This site has one cool feature though. It has this interesting docking charger. It has some connectors on top that come in contact with the top of the site. Just plug in a USB and it's charging away. All right, let's sight this in. We're gonna go for the middle bullseye first, and then I have some kind of fine tuning squares on there that I can aim for. Comes with this little tool to adjust the sights with. I wanna give this sight the best zeroing potential as possible. So I'm gonna use a shooting stick to take out any fluctuation from me and not the sight. All right, let's go check that out. I'm gonna do the same test for every fresh new mag going forward. We'll put like five shots into each one of those Find, I'll call them fine tuning squares. I don't know what to call them. Oh, and just to be clear, I'm only going to use that shooting stick for the accuracy test. It's Texas Star time right now. We're going to do that all offhand. We'll go right to left. I think I have enough ammo left for all three. I have one round to spare. Fresh mag, we're back to the stick. Let's go for that right fine tuning square. Don't make fun of me too much. I don't know what to call it right now. All right, let's check that out real quick. We're gonna move on to sodas afterwards. All right, it looks like we're still zeroed with this. The group is off a little bit up and to the left, but I'm not gonna touch the site at all the whole time of this video. Time for the sodas. We're gonna do the same thing we did with the blitz. We're gonna start off far right, go far left, and then make our way into the middle. See how fast we can do it. Let's put up a timer. All right, starting far right. Pretty quick, 100% accuracy. Let's drill that dueling tree real quick. Well, if you're wondering why it's so um, smoky, I'm using the absolute crappiest ammo possible. This is wolf junk. So give more credit to the gun and the sight and me as well. 
All right, let's dump the rest of the mag into that pink popper. It's a magnum popper, so nine millimeter doesn't do too much. Mag's out, let's put five more on paper. Mag number three, we ran out of that wolf ammo, so now we have cellar and below, I think it's called. The impact might change, we'll have to find out. I, don't, I hope it doesn't. Let's go for the left target neck hole. I put that in quick, let's see what we did. That's target number three. We were getting some hole in hole action on that one, so still good to go. Does the SP5 with me behind it and this Olight have enough precision to hit the watermelon in the bunghole? I'm surprised in some of my other videos that the watermelon got obliterated much quicker than with 9mm. I keep forgetting that the watermelons won't explode when you shoot them and the insides are just like liquefied. All I was hitting there is just the rind. Let's put another group on that square on the left target. Let's go check it out. So the group is still doing pretty good. We're still zeroed in, even with this new ammo. So I'm starting to think that maybe, it comes down to the torque on this. Maybe people are over torquing the red dot sight because if you over tighten things there's a potential to start breaking stuff these can't scopes too these can get very sensitive but for now we're going to take out that paver first jam although that has nothing to do with the olight <laughs> well i guess it's gone now <laughs> Let's do a center block. Or technically, this could be a concrete block. I'm not 100% familiar with all the terminology. Let's see what group we get on that while we break it in half. I guess we kind of did a gel test down there. Just, you won't really see too much. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up. I'm gonna put three groups of five on the last of those fine tuning squares, whatever you want to call them, I don't care. That's what I'm calling them. And then we're gonna move on to the pendulum and see if I can make that thing swing. Then we're gonna wrap up. That group was messed up. I was going too fast. I pulled it two shots to the left. That's on me. All right, let's do our last review on the grouping and then we're gonna move to the pendulum. All right, just like the last times, the group is still holding zero. The only issue is I pulled it two times to the left on that one group, so. Yeah, I'm thinking this thing is good to go. Don't over torque it, just follow the manufacturer's instructions and you should be good to go. At least in my case, this thing's pretty awesome. Now, one tip before I do the pendulum. I have this sight turned down as low as it can go where I can actually see it. It's bright as hell out today. But one thing, and this is for red dots in general, I turn them down as low as possible because when they're too bright, I feel that the dot takes up too much of the target. It just overlaps up too much of what you're actually trying to shoot at. 
So if you get it down to this teeny little dot, assuming that you can see it, you can get way better precision out of it. There might be better ways, but that's what I do. We're gonna go for, well, my other camera just died. We're gonna go for the second smallest one. I think this should move it. Let's see if we can get a full rotation. And we did. Let's see how many it takes to get it on that smaller one, though. Damn, I ran out of ammo. All right, so that's going to wrap things up with this SP5, rocking this Olight green dot sight. Now, one thing to note about this Olight optic is it does not come with this bottom base. You'll need to either find one or just attach it to the standard, I guess, configuration for pistols. This fits right into one of those optic mounts. So if you have something that's different, you might need an adapter for the bottom plate so that it fits. Or if you want to put it on a Picatinny rail, you're just going to need a Picatinny adapter. And so far, it's working good. With the proper torque and everything, we're dead on sighted in. 25 yards is pretty much dead on. I put 150 rounds to this thing today. If people want to see more of this, I can try and put this through its paces for like, I don't know, another 150 rounds. If you want to see another video like this, we can do that. Because if you are looking for an optic like this, for the price, it's definitely not too expensive, but it's definitely not cheap. It's like in the mid range. And for it being a mid-range optic, I have other ones that are way more expensive than this. No issues whatsoever. And some of the other optics that I run, they look very similar to this, but they're just cheap kind of like knockoff things. This thing is a much higher quality design. And so far, so good. I'll keep going with this if people want me to. But if you are interested, I'll have a link down below for this Olight site. All right? See ya.